Hey guys, if you die today, where would you spend eternity? If you die today, if you died in the next hour, tonight, in the next few days, where would you spend eternity? Death is something that a lot of us don't like to think about. I don't like to think about it either. But don't you know that you and I are living on borrowed time? We are borrowed time, um, borrowed space, you know, borrowed breath in our bodies. And there comes a time that the Lord has already predestined. There's a time and a date and a day that is set out for each and every one of us, and we don't know. However, due to life and all the distractions, we don't think about that. And no one should really sit about, sit around and think about death. You know, there's people who think about death all the time, and they're just, just miserable. That is not what God wants you to, to do, to think, when am I going to die? But what the, the question is, how are you spending your life? That's the question. How are you spending your life? Not, oh, when am I going to die? Because you're going to panic and make moves based on panic and fear. But how are you spending your life? How are you spending the breath and the mobility or whatever it is that you have? What do you put your hands to do each and every day? What are you doing with what God has given you? Your breath. How are you living, guys? We live in a society where people have insurance for when they pass on their family and loved ones taken care of. People have their funeral expenses already taken care of. They have insurance for that. They have coverage for their cars. They have dental insurance. We have medical insurance. We have all these things that we put in place for this present time and this present now. However, no one has the assurance of where they will spend eternity. And of course, you have some people that will come along with this religion that says, you are saved and you're free to sin, or you're saved and you can sin and you're still going. I'm going to tell you guys, get into the word of God. Don't believe Arlene and don't believe other people because in that time when you stand before God, they're not going to ask you. God is not going to ask you, what did Arlene tell you? Or what did your church pat? You can't pull nobody to the side and say, hey, 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 come tell them what you told me. No, this word is what you're going to have to look at and study and read it for yourself and pray to God that he will show you himself. But guys, I just want to do this quick video and ask you, where are you going to spend your eternity? Because eternity happens whether you believe it or not, whether you want to accept it or not. You can have your own belief. You believe that, oh, when we die, we just die, then that is on you. You know, in the Bible, it talks about in Revelation. I want to get this right, guys, before I go. It is in Revelation chapter 20. 21 Revelation chapter 21 says where is it where is it? Ah, Revelation chapter 22 verse 11 says he who is unjust let him be unjust still he who is filthy let him be filthy still he who is righteous let him be righteous still he who is holy let him be holy still and now Jesus says, and behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give everyone according to his work. What does that mean? When he, when I saw that thing about who is holy, who is filthy, let him be filthy still. What the Lord showed me is, listen, once you talk to people, and this is what I tell other believers, once you talk to people about God, don't fight them about it. You've said it, whether they scoff at you, whether they believe it or not, whether they ignore you, you're good. Don't argue with people because it says here, Whoever is holy, let him be holy. Whoever is filthy, let him be filthy still. Because God's reward, God is coming quickly. Jesus comes quickly and his reward is with him to give every man according to his work. So don't, don't fight with folks, okay? But this video, guys, is just to say this. Think about your life. Think about your eternity. You're not meant to just go through life doing whatever it is and having a good time. Because most of the times, even though you're having a good time, you're not completely happy without Christ. I know and I lived it myself. I'm here to just encourage you guys just to seek God out for yourself. If you don't, if you're tired of living a certain way, you're tired of the disappointments, the ups and the downs, I encourage you to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Accept him in your heart. Romans 10 and 9 says, if you will confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross for your sin, he came here 
in the flesh in the form of man, died on the cross, rose the third day, and is at the right hand of the Father, you shall be saved. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God changed my life. He changed me from being the party girl, the sexual immoral girl, just doing all kinds of different things, having a good time spending money. I thought it was all about looks and money and, and status, and it was not. So guys, I'm here to tell you, what are you doing with your life? Every day, what are you doing? Are you just thinking about yourself and your family? Think about your life. It is merely a vapor. And you never know the day that your heart will stop beating and your flesh ceases to exist. And now you raise up. You will raise up like Christ raised up. You're going to raise up out of your flesh and you're going to become the true spiritual being that you are. And there is an eternity after that. All right, guys, don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.